Larsa's Peer Code Check tool is a new product available to expand the design capabilities of Larsa 4D. The tool enables detailed design code checks on material properties, reinforcement limits, shear capacity, transverse reinforcement requirements, longitudinal reinforcement limits, and control of cracking of peer columns. Designed to bring multiple considerations under a single roof, engineers can not only conduct detailed code check for various design codes, but also biaxial interaction analysis to determine the ultimate biaxial capacity of peer columns containing pre- and post-tensioning tendons and reinforcements. The tool provides comprehensive reports to its users, aggregating the overall pass-fail status of each code check station together with detailed computations. Visual reports for the three-dimensional capacity surface of peer sections are also presented to users, enabling quick confirmation to ensure demands on peer columns fall within the capacity surface of the member. Performing peer code check begins by creating separate structure groups in Larsa 4D for the desired peers where each structure group contains the members of a single column. From here, the section spreadsheet of Larsa 4D or the Larsa 4D Section Composer tool can be used to enter rebar information into peer sections, which is used during the biaxial interaction analysis performed by the tool to calculate ultimate capacities. Before we open the tool, and for good measure, we'll first run an analysis to make sure the desired load effects are available under Larsa's Results Explorer. Additional linear result combinations and extreme effect groups for design load combinations can be created at this time. With our model now set up, the peer code check tool is opened, presenting the main window of the tool where the design code check cases are defined. Each row entered in this spreadsheet creates a new code check case. Each case is comprised of its associated properties that can be modified as needed for specific considerations. The peer group column is used to select the structure group containing the peer elements for which the code check will be performed. The drop-down menu in this section contains the structure groups previously created in our Larsa model, which contains the associated chain of column members. Starting and end stations are entered to define the portion of the column that will be subjected to code check, with the station count column used to define the number of code check stations within the defined range. By interpreting a single code check case, users can rapidly perform code checks for multiple section cuts through the column's length. As we'll see later, the tool will generate separate detailed reports for each station. Options displayed under the drop-down list of the section column are fetched directly from Larsa 4D. The Use Assigned Section option quickly enables performing code check with the section assigned to the peer structure group during the analysis by finding the member located at the entered code check station and extracting the corresponding section and material properties. The new peer code check tool also allows users to conduct checks with sections not assigned to the members of the column during the analysis. The same peer group for different sections can be checked by simply changing the section selection without needing to repeat the analysis. The tool supports performing code check through all sections available under the columns category in the Larsa 4D sections database. In addition, these several basic shapes widely used as column sections are directly supported by the peer code check tool. Just as well, user-defined custom sections with or without cutouts and various reinforcement patterns can be considered in the code check by simply defining the shear width and depth parameters prior to performing the check. The remaining parameters are again automatically pulled from the associated Larsa model and the section database. The design load column organizes the result cases required for code check. Clicking the new group option opens the design loads group window. For each result case specified under the design load group, a separate design check is performed and reported. The provided checkboxes adjust the limit state checks that will be run for the selected result cases. Options are available to choose an envelope column that will be used for extracting results, which must be appropriately selected when dealing with result cases that require enveloping, such as Lars's Influence Surface Based Live Load Result Cases. Using the Edit Design Load Groups button, previously created design load groups can be modified. The button takes you to a new window, where you can then make desired changes to all the design load groups created so far. 
The Materials button is enabled once the Peer Group, Station, and Design Loads group are selected, where you can then continue to select material models. Various material models are available that can be used in section analysis, including the Hognested model with and without softening, Rectangular Block ACI, and Mander Confined and Unconfined. Here you can also define a custom material stress strain curve by manipulating curve points. Moving on, the Code Check Parameters column is used to introduce the desired code parameters, which are entered by selecting the New Group option that creates a new parameter group. Users are expected to enter only a few parameters manually within the scope of the selected design code, such as transverse reinforcement properties and seismic zone. While entering parameters, descriptions are conveniently displayed at the bottom of the window. At the same time, the code check parameters available in the Larsa model are automatically pulled by the Peer Code Check tool. Here, the tool also gives users the freedom to override any parameter without running the analysis again. After creating a code check parameters group, the name and parameter values of the previously created groups can be edited by using the Edit Code Check Parameter button. Once you're done with the code check parameters, Using the View Parameters button, you can review all the code check inputs you entered together. In this window, the code check parameters are grouped in terms of the code check cases, stations, and result cases. Lastly, the Include in Code Check option enables combining the code check cases. By unchecking this box, you can skip the corresponding code check case while still keeping its input. As seen on the screen, the Peer Code Check tool stores code check inputs in a separate XML file, and users can export or import the code check cases by using the Export Cases and Import Cases buttons. In this way, code check inputs can be used multiple times with different revisions of the same project. As the last step, you can select the design code from the drop down list. The tool currently supports code checks for peer columns per Ashto LRFD 7th, 8th, and 9th editions as well as IRC Indian Roads Congress for concrete road bridges. Finally, we'll click Perform Code Check, which prompts the tool to do just that. After the code check is performed, the tool's code check report is automatically displayed, providing an efficient and precise inspection of results. This starts with the overall pass-fail status of the code check cases reported on the Peer Code Check Tool summary page. The detailed computations for each procedure are reported on the code check results page, including the description, inputs, and corresponding equations and articles of the design code. They are all accessed by clicking the code check results button within the navigator. Under the biaxial interaction results page, we can review the computed ultimate capacity surface of the corresponding section. Here, interaction diagrams present the visualization of the three-dimensional capacity of the peer section with and without the fee factor. Therefore, you can check whether the demand on a peer column, shown here as a green dot, falls within the capacity surface of the section. Returning to the main window of the report, the previously generated code check reports can be accessed using the View Existing Report option. While this concludes our overview of the Larsa 4D Peer Code Check tool, Further information to guide new users is available in the Larsa 4D Help menu. We hope you found this video helpful and we welcome you to contact us for more information on how this feature can be implemented to enhance your work routines in Larsa for peer column design.